New at 10, dodging bullets while opening up shop. A business owner says he was shot at by two men who then robbed him. Tonight, the auto shop owner is hoping the video will help deputies track down the suspect. Ken Smith reporter Megan Reyna is live after speaking to the man about the terrifying encounter. Megan. Well, Henry Isis, here's the thing. This man doesn't usually open up his own shop, but he decided Saturday morning he wanted to go in extra early to help his guys out. What he was met with was a life or death situation. 545 Saturday morning, Rafael Guerra pulls up to the locked gate outside his business, RG3 Collision and Custom Repair Center off Walsham, when another vehicle drives up quickly and parks in front of him. I just heard somebody yell behind me and I turn around and I, I see the gun in my face and I remember saying, what are you doing? What do you want? He says two armed men were demanding his keys and wallet. He put his hands in the air and maintained eye contact with the gunman. Then, gunfire. He did fire the weapon. I hit the gun down and uh, he shot again and grazed my, my leg. The armed men are then seen attempting to drive off in his car, but were unsuccessful. They eventually got back in the vehicle they pulled up in and drove off. Geta was okay, and the only thing they got away with, he says, was a handbag. God was shooting me and taking care of me. My wife is, uh, we just found out she was pregnant, so that's what popped in my mind is that, oh no, not right now. And luckily I told my wife I love you before I left, so. Geta believes he was a random target, especially since he points out the vehicle they were trying to steal was very recognizable. But his concern is these suspects will seriously hurt someone if they aren't caught. God gave me the strength to be able to get out of it. Give me the right words to speak and stay calm and just look at them right in their eyes because they were going to have to face a person, not, not my back, because that's too easy. And the Bear County Sheriff's Office is investigating. They do have a copy of that surveillance video, but right now it's unclear what exactly the make and model is of the suspect's vehicle. But if you know anything about this incident, give the Sheriff's Office a call. Reporting live, Megan Reyna, Kins 5.